Fishermen, it's time now to get your pen and paper ready because in the next hour, both classroom and on-the-water instruction is in store from the world's number one authority on stand-up fishing, Dennis Braid. You are now going to learn how you, too, can stand up to a giant. Fishermen, in these excerpts from Stand Up to a Giant, Dennis Braid will be covering some of the techniques he has perfected in stand-up fishing for giant fish. Visit online at BraidProducts.com to find a dealer near you. Okay, now we've got most of our gear together. The thing that we need to look at is technique, how we're going to use it. Before we go rushing down to the marine and jumping on the boat, let's see exactly how we can get the most benefit out of the equipment that we've selected. What I've drawn here is a couple of different... Uh, postures on how we can use our upper body weight as opposed to our arm strength to uh, combat the fish that we're going after. And I've broken this down basically into three and four line classes. Using your 40 and 50 pound test line, you don't really need anything more than a kidney harness. You don't need a shoulder harness and you definitely don't need a bucket type harness where you would be using a lot of your body weight. The system that you would be using here would be the lower torso and simply by pivoting at the hip joint, and allowing your shoulders to lean backwards and forwards and in a slightly up and down posture, standing straight up and down, will allow you not only to retrieve and pull on the line both up and down, but from out at an angle as well. This is especially true when you're fighting marlin, uh, fish that are going to be sailfish that are gaining line on you away from the boat and making a lot of jumps. Straight up and down motion will be mainly bottom fishing and fishing for medium-sized yellowfin, bluefin tuna, things of that nature. So all you need to do, a technique that to master with 50-pound, 40, 50-pound tackle, would be pivot at the hip joints, standing up and down like you would be sitting in a chair. Now, 80-pound test is a whole different deal. 80-pound allows you to pull a tremendous amount of pressure. Now, 80-pound will have the drag set at probably between 20 and 25 pounds. But don't forget, that's just at the preset. As we get on with the fight and the fish, we can move that drag pressure up. You can f fish probably 50, 55 pounds of drag on 80-pound test line as you get the fish closer to the boat. Now, how do we ac uh, accomplish this? First of all, you have to keep in mind that you're now not fighting the fish with your arms at all. The harness you're going to need is a, definitely a bucket type, similar to the power play or a brute buster type system where you have an area around the lower torso, around the kidney area, and then you have a bucket type section right underneath your rear end section. And what this is going to allow you to do is lean back and use your upper body weight. By doing so, you're now moving not only your hip joints, but you're using your knee joints as well. And you can see the difference between this lower di or the center diagram as opposed to the top diagram, how much just by bending at the hip joint and the knee joint, leaning back, that this rod is now lifting, pulling the line straight up and down. Gaining line as you lean back and then winding line as you stand up. Now this is simply a transfer of upper body weight going backwards and forwards just like this, bending at the hip joint and bending at the knee joint. Now, stand-up fishing with 100 and 130s might seem completely out of line, but it's not if you learn how to handle this, and you don't need to be an overpowering weight or bodybuilder to be able to accomplish this. I weigh about 160 pounds, and I can successfully pull 55 to 60 pounds of drag. I definitely don't do this with my arm strength, that's for sure. But what I do is I use my upper body weight. Now, just consider someone of my size. You may be a little smaller. You may be a lot bigger. But by moving from the diagram that we used in the center to the lower one here, you can see that not only are we moving our knee joints and our hip joint, our upper legs, our thighs, and upper torso is almost straight now. This means that your upper body weight is at a tremendous angle leaning back on the rod. What we're doing is opposing the force coming off the line at the end of the rod tip. So if your upper body weighs in excess of 100 pounds, 50 pounds, which is Half of that amount is what's coming off the rod tip. This should be able to be done quite easily. 
The biggest fear that you have to come, overcome, of course, is the fear of your knot or your connection breaking. But if you're proficient enough with your knots and you feel that you're very confident in that, leaning back is going to have a great effect on fighting big fish with this heavy drag pressure. The whole key to this lower diagram is not only in the, joint, in the knee joint and the hip joint, but the ankle joint. As you can see here, the, dis the distance now between diagram one and diagram three from the center line that I've drawn right down the middle here, from the angler's head, from that center line, leaning all the way back, provides a tremendous amount of pressure on that line with virtually no effort at all. Now let's take a look and see how this works in a real life diagram. You know, there's hardly anything in the world like catching big tuna. Especially when the water's like this. Go, go. David? No. I got leader. Oh, hold on. Nice pick. Obviously, this is a heavier rig than what we're going to be fishing 40 or 50 pound test line on. But to give you an idea, this is what we'll use as far as the technique when you're fishing 40 or 50 pound on big game. You're going to be there for a little while, obviously, but it's very, very simple. Hand, left hand on the top of the reel, which gives you additional pulling power on the top of the reel, and you wind the handle with your right hand. And all you do is sit down, and you stand up, and you sit down. Your body weight playing a part in it. You don't need to pull with your arms on the foregrip. You don't have to touch the foregrip at all. You just stand up, and you sit down, and you pump. What are we pulling there, Carlos? Fifteen. We're pulling 15 pounds at the scale. It's very simple. Stand up and sit down. Knee joint, legs, everything stays pretty much straight. And you just stand up and you sit down, gain line. In a quick snap, you just stand up. Now, when we go to 80 pounds, it's kind of slightly different. We increase the drag pressure, of course. And what we're going to do now is start to lean back to apply the pressure. And as you can see, my hand is still on the reel, not having to pull on the, uh, the foregrip whatsoever, but you're leaning, knees bent, hips bent slightly, and leaning just back, just like that. How many pounds are we pulling out now, Carlos? 30 pounds. That's at 30 pounds. That's more than enough to pull at 80 pound pressure. As you can see, it's very comfortable, it's requiring very little effort whatsoever. And when we step up to 130, it's a whole different deal. What we're going to do now, as you can see, my shoulders go back, they're straight, my thighs, my whole upper torso is pretty much straight in line. The only difference is I've been slightly at the knee joint, my left hand is on the reel, I'm ready to wind on the right hand side. As I lean back, my shoulders go back, but my whole body weight now comes back from my ankles. And you can pull back just like that, and I'm using absolutely no strength whatsoever. What are we pulling there, Carlos? 50. There's 50 pounds of drag at, uh, at almost full. This will go, my reel is set up to go to uh, approximately 62 pounds at full. But as you can see, you're leaning back, your upper body, you're in a relaxed position, and as you go back and you come up and you can take a wind, lean back, let your upper body weight lean back and oppose the line, the force coming off the tip of the rod. Okay, now let's get back to Cape Cod and put some of these techniques into action. Nice pick. You get him? Yeah, we got him. Good man. Look at him. Back off the back off that track. Oh! <laughs> Timing, man. 19 minutes. 19 minutes to the minute, boys. Fishermen, there are many more tutorials on rigging and tackle, as well as stand-up techniques in Dennis Braid's brand new DVD, Stand Up to a Giant. You will also see Dennis Braid fight and land a giant bluefin tuna weighing more than 600 pounds on his stand-up gear. 
find a dealer near you, visit online at BraveProducts.com.